Hey, so I told you I was going to do a quick some makeup haul that, you know, um, I bought so many things makeup related. I think I'm going to have to break it down by the brands. Yeah, it's that serious that it has to be broken up by the brands. So this first one is going to be all about Black Radiance. And I don't know if you guys remember from the clothing haul that I did, I was saying how Black Radiance has stepped their game up with their makeup. I'm not even going to lie. And I know I keep staring off because I want to pick up the product to show you guys. But um, I decided to start buying some of their stuff because I saw that they've kind of, you know, improved with the quality of um, their things. So a couple of things that I've picked up have been foundation, powder, uh, a lip tint. Hmm and some other goodies so let's get started so they have this new foundation by black radiance it's this it's a color perfect um oil free um liquid foundation um i love this foundation i'm not even gonna lie i'm actually wearing it today but it's not really liquidy and it's not a mousse but let me show you. So when you open it, you get this little spatula thingamajigger on there. And that's what they give you. And if, as you can see, the consistency is not really liquid. It's something else. It's not really a mousse. I don't know. Maybe it is a mousse. I don't know. But this is the, um, the color that I get, which is 8414. It's called Brownie. At first, I thought it wasn't really going to be a match for it, but when I tried it on, when I got home, it was a perfect match, oddly. So this is the um, test the splash right here. See? And it's not ashy. It dries very, very quick. And I top mine off when I wear it with this powder that they have right here. It's... 8606A Bronze Glow. That's the color. It's right here. And that's what I topped mine off with. Okay, so the day that I went, you know, cosmetic shopping, whatever you want to call it, they had, CVS at that, had a really great buy. And I don't know if because they are they came out with these new artisan baked, like, bronzer, blushes, um, eyeshadows, and things of that sort. Like, they came out with them, and I guess they were trying to really promote that these are new products. So they put them in this package. Um, it was three things. Like, these were the three things that came in the package. It was... Eh, it was these three items right here. So it was upside down okay it was the the artisan color baked bronzer this color it was the artisan baked blush and the baked eyeshadow and these colors are very 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 pretty this is the blush it kind of reminds me of my blush from MAC. I'm going to have to go think of what the name, it is, name of it is. But this is called Warm Berry. This is the cut name of the color. It's very pretty on. The eyeshadow is called Spiced Rum that I got. And the bronzer is called Fard Cut Bronzit. No, just kidding. Ah, it's called Ginger Snap. <laughs> That's the bronzer right there. So the good thing, as much as many of you guys might know about baked eyeshadows and baked um, cosmetic products, is that they, um, when you use like a wet um, brush applicator with them, the colors like magnify and they become very more vibrant when you use um, water with it. So I'm going to do two demonstrations. We'll do two swatches of 
what they look like dry and then what they look like when the colors are used with a damp um, or a wet applicator brush. So this is the blush. This is what it looks like dry. Uh, it looks like this dry. It's just a light berry color right here. Um, as far as what it looks like wet, it looks like this. I don't know if you can tell the difference. I just try to wet my finger. So it's a little bit more, the color pops more. Okay. That was the, the blush. I haven't used the eyeshadow yet, but this is what it looks like dry. So it's like a light bronzy gold dust color. Like this. That's what it looks like dry. When it's wet, it still looks similar, but it pops a little bit more. Why do I keep using the, the wrong finger? Maybe because I don't want to stick my middle finger right at y'all. <laughs> that could be why. Yeah, my fingers are long. I know. And for the... <clears throat> This is the bronzer. This looks like this. I don't really know if you guys can see it. I doubt it. And when it's a little... These are, this is what it looks like. Uh, this is the wet one. I know, I didn't want to stick my middle finger out at you guys. And this is the dry one. So the, pretty much the purpose, the purpose of baked eyeshadows is that they could be used wet or dry. So when they're dry, you know, you still get the color. But when they're wet, you the color just pops a little bit more. So it'll be easier to see the person. It's kind of hard to see it um, on the screen. Another thing that I purchased um, just yesterday from Black Radiance was this new indelibly sheer lip tint right here. Looks like this. And I love it. I'm not even going to lie. This is what the color looks like right there. And it's not as bright. It's not as bright as you guys might think as it's looking on the screen it's really pretty especially on you know dark skin tones and things of that you know people like people like that <laughs> complexions of that sort it really looks nice i really like it and it's very velvety and smooth it doesn't feel um because you know how some lipsticks can be drying and i guess because it's not technically a lipstick it's a tint um it's got more color than a typical tint color, you know, lip color, but it goes on very, very smooth and it glides on great. Um, maybe I'll put it on to show you guys. I'll put it on to show you guys what it looks like. Let me just wipe my color off my lips really quick. I hate makeup remover wipes.
So this is what the lip color looks like. Told you it's very pretty, right? Very velvety, smooth color. Yes, I keep it on for the rest of the video. Um, another color that I purchased from them was this. Um, what is this going to be? Parismatic color. What is the name of this kind? Oh, it's called Posh Plump. It looks like this. So I'm going to show you guys what the lip color looks like. And like I said before, this is Posh Plum. So this is what the color looks like. It's a pretty color, right? And again, this is the lip color by Black Radiance. It's called Posh Plum. Um, what else did I get from there? I all got two other lip colors. One, this one, Diva Divine, or Divine Diva, Diva Divine. I don't know. When I put it on, it just looked like clear gloss, but it looks like it has color. It's like a, I don't know. I'm not going to try that one on, but that's what that is. Um, this is the other kind. It's called... Diva Deluxe. Looks like this. I can try it on so you can see what it looks like. So that's what this one looks like. It's like a nice little neutral color with a little bit of a color to it. Huh. Nice little neutral color with a little bit of color to it. Yeah. Anyway, so this what this is Diva Deluxe. And this is also by Black Radiance. Um, so yeah, those are all the items that I purchased from Black Radiance within the past couple of weeks. Um, and they are, in my opinion, worth the the purchase. And they are I don't know. You guys should just try it for yourself. You can't just base it off of my opinion because everyone has different tastes. But I've been very pleased with the items that I purchased. And I hope you guys can give them a chance and try them out. And like I said, they've redone their products just like how um, Wet Wild has done theirs. Because I believe they're the same company. They're made by the same manufacturer. So um, they've... Like I said, step their game up as far as their products are concerned. And I think this new type of line that they've been coming out with is worth you going out and trying to go find it and buy some. And if you go to some stores, you'll get the package deal like I had with the bronzer, shadow, and blush. And those three for that package price, $9.99. So... Those were definitely a great buy. So definitely go check them out and um, let me know what you guys think. If you've tried them before and you're impressed or not, if you like them or dislike them, just leave a comment at the bottom and let me know. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.